So we talked about in the last video the form element tag, which is right here. And this again just acts as a container to put in whatever input fields we want. And the input field we made in the last video, of course, was this one line text box, which is formed by the input element tag and also declaring the type as text. And that gives us again, this one line text box. But now we wanna actually add some labels to these text boxes because people need to know what information they're entering. And so let's say we needed a first name and a last name. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create our first label for this first text box and we're gonna ask for the first name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste what I already typed out and I'll explain it. So here's the label element. That's how we declare a label. And notice we have to close this one out. So we close that out with a closing label tag. The four, I'll explain this in a second. And here is where we put in our text first name. And this is what will be displayed on the page. Now we have to tie this label to this input element. And we do that with this for attribute. And you can give this any name you want. We called it first name. And then we have to create another attribute in our input element. And that is again, ID. So we type in ID and then equals and then first name. And so again, this name right here has to match this four attributes. The four attribute has to match the ID attribute. And that's what ties these two together. So let's go ahead and refresh our web page. And there you can see, we've got our first name label right here. What's really neat about this too, is when you use this label element and you click on the text, let's do that. We click on the text, you can see the control is automatically highlighted if we click on the text. Now, if this was just normal text, it wouldn't highlight this one line text box. So that's what's kind of cool about using this label element. And so let's just go ahead and copy and paste this code for our second box here. And we'll just rename this to second name, or actually, you know what, more appropriately, we'll call it last name, because that's what it's gonna be. And then let's take this ID here, and we'll just copy and paste this right here. And again, this ties our label to our input element, and we'll call this last name. And so let's go ahead and refresh everything up here. And well, we forgot to actually make the text last name. So let's do that really quick. And we'll refresh this again. And there you see, we've got two text boxes now with labels in which we can collect information from our user. This will be submitted to a server where we will process that data. And again, if we click on the text, it highlights the text box. That's really kind of a nice attribute about this label element. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we'll actually do a multi-line text box. See you guys then.